Hello, people of Britannus. It is time for another live stream. It is I, Caroline, and Jason. Hello! Your co-directors. If this happens to be the first thing you come across and you've not been to a Britannus event before, um, we're very schmoopy. Um, and uh, there are a lot of these videos. And so the next person I want to introduce to you before we even talk about what we're going to talk about tonight is Stephanie who is our game liaison. So, all things begin with Stephanie. If you are interested in Team Monster, if you're interested in being a PC player character, please talk to Stephanie. So, uh, we're going to just do a quick introduction of names as we go around, and I'm going to drop a link into this live stream that links you to a web page that has our names and our points of contact. So, we're going to play Pass the Phone. I'm Caroline, I'm a co-director, and I'm point of contact for community director, except we don't all need to say that, because I'm going to put it in the link. Hi, Jason. I'm Jason, I am the your name? plot director. Except you don't have to say all that. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, I'm Tammy. Hi, I'm Chris. L. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. Hello, I'm Joanna. Greetings, Chris O. <laughs> Hi, I'm Annie. Hello, I'm Mike. And I'm Lizzie, your instructor for this evening. And I'm actually going to pass you off to someone who can hold the camera for me. So, we haven't actually said what we're doing so far. So, I will introduce There we go. There we go. So, this is actually going to be um, Excellent Rules Section 8 Defenses. This is actually Part 2. I recommend if you have not seen Part 1 that you watch that first before you watch this one in depth. Um, because we go over a lot more of the basics in part one. This is part two, a little bit more advanced, and some aspects of the rules that we don't use very often, but are, are key pieces depending on your um, character. And a lot of these skills come from uh, monsters do this a lot. So we're going to talk about 8.5, which is reduce and absorb, 8.6, which is reflect, Talk a tiny, tiny bit about spirit, and then move on to 8.9, which is chained defenses. So, let me get back up here to 8.5, reduce and absorb. Uh, obviously, the the uh, skill itself reflects is reflected by the name. If you call for a reduce, you call for an absorb, that's what you're doing. Uh, the key piece to remember with this defense is it negates the effect of the, the attack. So if the attack is um, put on me uh, as far as a, we'll say it's a reduce, um, that effect is either mitigated completely, lessened, or changed entirely depending on what my defense is related to that reduce. So the actual reduction is determined by the skill or ability that allows me to use that reduction. So if you have that skill, it should specify exactly what it means to have reduce. So it's going to be uh, reduce, uh, say it reduces a death instead of a death effect, you're going to take a maim instead. So you would reduce it, uh, reduce death to maim. Uh, the key with that is, is verbalizing that so that the person who casts that on you, casts the death, uh, death by fire, that you acknowledge the effect of the death by fire, <gasps> but you, ah, as he dies, dies, death by fire. Reduce to what? Maim. Maim, oh! I maimed my it, leg. It, it's very common, um, it's very common for, like, boss monsters to have reduces for um, instant kill effects, mainly because that just gets rid of all of the fun in an encounter. So it's not uncommon for uh, a big bad guy to have, like, a reduce death to 10 damage or reduce uh, reduce death to paralyze or stun or something like that um, just to avoid um, us building up and writing a giant encounter and somebody going, eh, death, and the whole thing being over with really no drama involved into it. Um, the important thing that Lizzie mentioned that is, um, is key is that reduce will never be solo on its own. Reduce will never be found... Um, on its own. There will never be something that's just reduce. There will always be a description after the reduce that tells you what it does. Um, 
oftentimes monsters will have uh, like a reduce to something. So anytime they take a, a call attack weapon damage, um, it'll reduce it to two, or reduce it to one to represent that that monster is taking less effect from your attacks. But it will always tell you what the reduce actually does. So with the reduce, um, like Jason said, the key is that the verbal for the defense uh, would be followed by the two. So if I, if I um, hit him with the death effect and he calls out reduce to maim, I'm recognizing the attack and reducing it to a maim instead of death. The same thing applies to an absorb. Um, generally though, if you absorb it, the two, um, you have to also specify the two. You are absorbing the attack. Um, a common one is absorb to heal to. So in that instance, if, um, yeah, so if you're attacking like a fire elemental or something and you attack it with um, water fire. and it goes, or fire or something, it says, I absorb, uh, absorb to heal to. So it does not take the damage from your fire attack. Instead, as a fire elemental, it absorbs it and heals itself. Um, so yeah, you mm -hmm. watch out for that. Um, uh, another another you'll see is uh, an absorb to an attack. Mm -hmm. So, like, if, uh, again, using the fire element, elemental example, um, if you were to hit it with a fire attack, um, it, can, it could conceivably then call, like, absorb and grant melee attack. As in, I have taken your attack and I have turned it into something that I'm now going to use offensively. Actually, that's reflect. No. No, not in that's this not. case. Reflect is it turns exactly what you got you hit them with back on it on themselves. Oh, that's true. Um, absorb is transforming one thing into another. That's why it's listed with reduce as well. The important thing to remember between reduce and absorb is that reduce acknowledges that that attack has hit me and taken effect. Absorb that attack has hit me, but it does not have the initial effect at all and instead transforms into something else entirely. Right. So the absorb might be say your in a different genre, your favorite uh, metal-suited superhero taking a hit of electricity and uh, absorbing it and then getting superpowers. Yes, like it's the, Iron Man yeah. and Thor. It's yeah. Iron Man in the, in the Iron Man and Thor fight in the Avengers. That's, That's right. That's an absorb. Thor zaps him with the with the lightning from the hammer, and Jarvis says yeah. power levels up to 400 and something percent. And Tony says, uh, huh, would you look at that? And then <laughs> blasts him with a big blast of energy. There you go. That would be an absorb. Whereas a reduce would be like somebody hitting Hulk and him just taking a little bit of damage from it and mm -hmm. instead becoming angry and hitting you harder. Yeah. Yes. Where if you hit Bob Bob with that same hit, Bob would die. Would die. Yeah. No, Bob Bob would kills murder things. you because because <laughs> Bob Dorian, Dorian. Is, has Oh Bob Dorian. Oh I'm sorry. We need to specify which Bob we Bob. need. That's it's true. Important. Check. It's true. Okay, moving on. Sorry. Um inside joke. Yeah. Oh, no, one, no one named Bob is going to kill you in this game. No. No, no, no. one named Bob will kill you. We might uh, name them something else, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you have any questions about reduce or absorb, go ahead and ask them now, and I'll answer questions when we get to the end. So, moving on to 8.6, which is reflect. Um, if you are hit with uh, either a melee, a missile, or a packet attack uh, of the appropriate type, that you can rebound to the attacker when it strikes you. So in order to call this defense, it negates the effect of the attack. So um, in this instance, if I, um, let's say I cast a packet at Michael for waste, uh, for vitality by fire, oh. he can um, take that, pick up a packet, and say reflect, reflect, and throw that packet back at me, and then I have to take the four uh, waste for vitality by fire right. and take uh, and actually LARP out loud take the hit right. um, where in that instance he wouldn't he would get hit by the packet does that require throwing the packet back at them yes okay. so in this instance you can use the defense to negate the attack including using reflect to bounce it back on the original target now depending on the skill you may also be able to reflect it on a completely different target but that will best be specified in the skill otherwise a general reflect reflects it back to uh, the person who throws it at you. So, Lizzie, do you have to use the same packet? So if you throw a red packet at me and I reflect it, do I have to pick up that red packet? Or can I use one of mine to, to, to show the reflect? Um, Does it matter? Pretty sure it doesn't specify. 
No, it does not. Let's actually let's let's take a step back and let's read the wording for reflect carefully and slowly because I think we might be off track. A we bit. might be a little okay. In reflect, you can choose one melee, missile, or packet attack of the appropriate type to rebound at the attacker when it strikes you. So wait, melee, missile, or packet, packet attack mm -hmm. to read again to the attacker when it strikes you. Okay. To rebound. So you can choose a melee, a missile, or packet attack of the appropriate type to rebound the attacker when it strikes you. But it doesn't say that you're then going to actually read. Yeah, there's there's no. It's just automatic. You can just reflect. Yeah, yeah reflect is a. If that is the thing. The way I'm reading that or hearing that is, reflect is not something that requires you to target it. It is an <laughs> automatic hit back on the person. So you hit me with death by fire. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is call reflect. Call this defense to negate the effects of the attack. Mm -hmm. Now, if the attack is, attack is reflected back at me, I must take the attack as if your melee missile or packet attack had struck me. Okay. If my hit had it hit says, me. It says, as if. Yes. Meaning, I do not have to physically right. pick up a packet or hit right. you with a sword. That's where okay. I, I think that's pretty key because so, otherwise you would be saying, I can pick up somebody else's weapon and throw it back at them. Yeah. Or, you know, or if I'm hit by an arrow, I mean, for example, you're not going, you don't have a bow, you're not we, going to shoot a, a better arrow back we, at we someone. We actually but had yeah. that happen exactly just like that in the campaign day, uh, where, where Bird shooting an arrow shot uh, shot at sure. um, Megan, who was the Sluriad at the time, and she reflected it back at him, and in that process she just went reflect, and he knew to take it. Yeah. Right. So re reflect is basically an auto hit when it's used, which is why it appears so so very small and rarely in, yes. in, in the game. Um, so what we're saying is, just to be clear, regardless of how you are targeted by the attack, if you have the ability to do a reflect, all you have to do is call reflect and really make sure that the person who you're reflecting it at knows that you're talking to them. Okay. Yes. I mean, so you wouldn't want to be like, reflect if your actual target is over here. You would want to make sure that you're making eye contact and, and kind of squaring up with that person so they know. I am saying reflect to you. Can you say, for clarity's sake, like if Lizzie and I are, are fighting, can I say reflect to Lizzie's character name or reflect yes. a monster? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that actually is specified. So it, I can use the defense to negate the attack, including using my own reflect to bounce it back on the original target. Or huh. another target. So, so if wow. I have a reflect and you have a reflect, uh -huh. I cast um, Death by Fire. Reflect to Lizzie. Reflect. <laughs> <Death. Yeah. laughs> yes, it can be. Oh now, my. it depends again on either the, the, the skill you have or the item Traits. or whatever that's, that allows you to do the reflect, whether it allows you to choose another target. I, I don't think I've seen anything that does that. doesn't say we couldn't do that, but in general, a Chapter reflect. Two goals. <laughs> That's mm. a level of complexity that I don't think It's a little challenging. Maybe you call that redirect. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not in the rules. A actually, that would be an absorb and a grant attack. Yes. And there are monsters, yeah, like, well, there are lots of, there there's lots of monsters, monsters who have that. the ability to, I take your hit and then I can do a hit of a similar type onto somebody Something else. Yes. Sure. Every um, Fomorian ever. And then that leaves yes. the original attacker out of the loop of having to track that and then it's on the person who's then reflecting that somewhere else. You know what, actually, Mike, this is this is an important thing to, to specify. So, the Fomorians have an ability that allows them to gain a called attack when they are struck by another called attack. But, that is neither a reduce, nor an absorb, nor a reflect. It's an imbue. It, it's, a, it's an imbue to self, is what it actually is. Right. Because their ability is predicated on taking the attack. They're not redu They're not modifying. negating or mitigating or modifying the initial attack in any way. They're just using that additional ah to give themselves another. They're kind of run. Which if you, is, if which is, it's just the twist on the absorb. If you right, but thematically, we, instead of using absorb, thematically you choose to use a view by blood. Right? Sure. Yeah. So if you've ever watched Gemma, my dwarf PC, fight against a Fomorian, they get in a loop. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. What because. It? What the berserk ability? Berserker. My, my she berserker has, ability has an imbue by rage. Allows you to. When I take a called attack. She gets a called attack. I, I get a called attack back, which then hits the Fomorian, who oh, imbue awesome. by blood. I'd love and, to see that. 
Yes. It, it's happened a couple it's of happened times, a couple and, times, and basically it goes until one of them runs out of vitality because they're just slamming on each other, like bam, 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 bam. But those, neither of those are reflect or imbue or uh, or absorbs or anything. It's just a grant attack when you take a called attack. So that that's an important distinction to make. Yes. Um, so that's related to that uh, the imbue skill or imbue, which is a whole other video to watch as well. Um, I'm only going to touch, so if you have any questions related to Reflect, go ahead and, and ask them now. They're already coming. Uh, awesome. Now, I'm going to move on to Spirit. Um, it is a couple of paragraphs in and of itself. It's 8.7 Spirit. I'm gonna, the only little bit I'm going to talk about related to Spirit and defenses is you are insubstantial and unaffected by most attacks when you are in Spirit. Um, everything else related to Spirit is laid out. Um, like talking about the spirit trait and uh, realm of death, that sort of thing, it has nothing to do with defenses, so I'm going to skip that part for another time. Um, just knowing that when you are a spirit, um, you can call spirit to any attack that you negate. So if someone attacks you and you are in spirit, you just call spirit as they attack you, and then they realize you're in spirit and their, their um, attack has no effect on you. So that goes back to our first video of no effect. Lovely little circle we have here. Uh, so that's that little bit on spirit related to defenses. The last piece is um, a little bit more complicated. This is one of the more complicated components of our defenses, and that's chained defense. This goes into um, tying back to what we were talking about in something happens, then something else happens, and then something happens when you're talking about the reduce, the absorb, or the reflect. So, um, a chain defense um, has an effect that is called immediately after the defense. So the verbal has to include the defense and the additional effect with an and between them of what happens. So if the additional effect is an attack, then that attack must be launched immediately as the defense is called. Using the additional effect could be optional or required, depending on the skill. If the additional effect affects the character, using the chain defense and the ability must use the self trait, and the character must role play that effect as if they'd been struck by it. I got a couple of examples. We have a fire based attack that strikes our fire ele elemental. The creature can call out resist and heal to self. So as the chain of defense, it is acknowledging the hit, saying the resist, and getting the heal to self. Um, that indicates that the attack was negated and the creature was healed by using the defense. Another example, um, a creature is struck by an attack, role plays for three seconds of the attack, calls out purge, and two damage to self. So again, another one of our defenses was purge. Um, being able to take that, take the, uh, the effect, role play it, you're purging it, and then two damage to get rid of it. Um, there's another one where a character has an ability that simulates uh, a repose. The character is struck by a successful melee attack, calls out parry and three damage, and immediately swings to the person who attacked them. So that would give them, that goes back to what we're talking about with the uh, imbue by blood. But instead of being an imbue, this is specifically a defense option of when I, when attacked, I can parry one of our defenses and then um, do three damage. Um, I assume it, from a role play perspective, because you are now in position to be able to take that, that more deadly attack. If you will. So Lizzie, to make sure I'm hearing you correctly, that you get the parry and then your attack would be the, the three. So you are inflicting three damage upon the person whom you parried. Yes. Yes. What it's specifically saying is is because your verbal has to be said as you're making an attack. For example, I can't go three damage. I have to go three damage as I'm swinging it to give you the option of blocking or using a game skill or whatever. When if we're talking about chain defenses, you're talking about I take the, the attack, I use the parry defense to block the attack and then I immediately call the three damage as I'm making that next attack mm -hmm. so that I'm making the verbal as I'm making the attack. Um, the, the first example with the fire elemental with mm -hmm. the resist and heal the self, mm -hmm. the two self 
is important so that whoever is fighting you understands that that heal didn't go to anybody else. That that heal is isolated to the person I just attacked. In, because there's a, there's a distinct difference both in roleplay and game mechanics between um, resist and heal to versus resist and heal to to self. Because heal to has no target other than whoever I choose to target with it. Um, there are there are monsters in game that have the ability to absorb and gain a heal to that they can use wherever they want. Specifying the to self lets the person who is doing the attacking understand exactly what's going on. Yes. Um, the last example I have is a, a creature has an ability that can um, attack with a magic trait back at the attacker. Uh, the creature is struck by a paralyzed by magic. The creature calls resist and paralyzed by magic and throws a packet back at the attacker. Um, so that's, in that instance, is what I was talking about that related to the reflect. This is kind of a reflect, but not really. Where in taking the attack, I am paralyzed, but through the resist, I then take, I can take what was thrown at me and send it back. The important difference here, though, is that a reflect keeps the trait that it was attacked with. So if you if I'm a, if I'm the fire elemental and you hit me with death by fire and I say reflect you are taking the death by fire that you aimed at me. Mm -hmm. The example that you were just talking about with the chain defense is if I call resist and paralyze by magic that's You're changing the trait. It's changing the trait. It's effectively transforming the energy type of whatever you attacked me with and turning it into a magic attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um on defenses, part two, that's it. So I will look at Caroline and open the floor for questions. Questions. So many. No, not so many. Good. Before we get into this, I don't know if he's actually watching right now, but I know he's going to later. Andy Kaler, I know you had a very specific question in regards to defenses versus delivery methods and double, triple attacks. Um, when you see this, please repost your comment so that we can address it. Isn't that... No, the... it's, it's different. Okay. okay. So, uh, Jeremiah asks, so really unlikely to happen, but can you reduce or reflect or avoid something already reflected back at you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally can. Absolutely. As, that goes back to what we were talking about of I can reflect the reflect of the reflect back. Um, same instance, you can, um, you can parry it. If you have the reflect, you can um, reflect it back and then parry your own basically reflected attack to yourself. Um, the thing is, you just have to be aware of what you're fighting, and if they can reflect, that you're prepared to be able to take your own hits, if you will. Well, that, that fire elemental example actually continues on perfectly well here, is if I'm a fire elemental and I have the ability to reflect any fire attack that's used on me, if, I, if somebody attacks me with a 5 damage by fire and I reflect it back at them, and then they reflect it back at me, if I still have the ability to reflect fire attacks, it's going right back at them again. Mm -hmm. So be mindful what you're attacking. You right. <laughs> and how. <laughs> Recon is a thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Um, going off the parry slash three damage call, so that's the chain defense. I know, this is Jeremiah, I know from the past that if a call that... Oh, stand by. What happened there? I don't know. I think I have to be actually watching the video, so I'm going to be on my phone instead. Hmm. I feel like we should have some awesome old music. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Here I go. <laughs> da. On my, on my laptop. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I've got it pulled up online. Okay. Oh, okay. Going off the parry three damage call, I know from the past that if a call attack is blocked, then the attack is not used. How would this work for the parry three damage call? Well, okay. So, um, if the attack is blocked, blocked, like with a shield, that attack is not used and there's no defenses called against it, so the chain attack never actually Little. triggers, right? So what we're talking about here is if there's an attack that you that lands that you would normally have taken mm -hmm. that you then use the parry defense for, then that chain defense would yep. trigger. The character is struck by a successful melee attack. There you go. So that answers Michael Harris's question. If someone throws a packet at me, it doesn't hit or make contact, can I still reflect it back? No. No, no because it wasn't a successful hit. Correct. Excellent question. Very good question. Um, we do have um, 
that one more from the beginning with Jeremiah re-asking the question yep. from last time? Here we go. Let me make sure we address that. Um, I'll re-ask the question I'd asked last time. How do reduces, for example, costain, work against triple attacks? So he gives an example um, of a costain roll with it. Okay, so the way the costain roll with an ability works is uh, once per day, if an attack deals you three or more damage, you can call for the black bull, reduced by allegiance, and only take two damage instead. Um, so let's go and use the triple five that, ah. that Mike was using earlier. Triple five. All right, and hits a member of Costain, of which I happen to be, and um, it lands square in the torso. I have the ability, roll with it. I will call for the Black Bull, reduced by allegiance, and it will reduce one, one of the three that hit me because the triple hits and goes off as normal, so it's treated as three separate attacks. So it's five, five, two? It would be five, five, two. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think the later abilities, the, the later purchases of that ability allow you to do more per day or more per watch or whatever. If I have the ability to reduce more than one of an appropriate attack, then I can do that to subsequent attacks. So, like, let's say I could do the reduce three times a day. If he drops one of those triple fives on me, I would take two, 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 but I would still call the reduce just once. Yeah. Now, the key to that that goes back to, the, to um, part one is that for the delivery method, that it is a successful hit. If his triple five shot to the chest um, was blocked, avoided, parried, uh, however, it was not a successful hit to him, then he takes no damage. All three of them, All are, three of them are negated because uh, the delivery method was defended against. I have a follow-up to your, to your reduce call if it was being used multiple times. Would you use a triple reduce at that point? No, because you don't actually have a triple reduce. You have three separate reduces, but okay. but forcing somebody to say reduce, reduce, <laughs> reduce. Yeah, yeah. Put a there, there, there does there does come a point in rules. Reduce, in, reuse, reanimate. There you go. Yeah. No, those are no. <laughs> to, to be clear, there does come a point in making verbals on the defensive side that just letting your target know that a game skill was used mm -hmm. is enough. Yes. Right. Because right. they don't have to know all of the internal math going on for my skills. Right. And in many cases, shouldn't. Right. But what they do need to know is my target used a game skill to negate the attack that I launched, so that attack is now used. Mm -hmm. So if I have that triple, if I have three reduces against that attack and I want to drop all three of them and use them, really all I need to do is call the first reduce. Sure. Because then that lets my attacker know that the attack he used on me has been consumed. Yeah. And, so, and that it successfully struck. I mean, that's yes. still a marking yeah. out loud. Moment. Exactly. So. Yeah, so it, if I had to say anything about defenses, I think that is it. And that is, if you're attacking someone, you want to know that you were successful in what you did. Regardless of whether they take damage, regardless of, of what they do, the fact that they acknowledge the hit that you made. It's the same thing that you would want someone else to do for you that you're asking them to do. Mm -hmm. um, so, again, as, as Jason said, it really comes down to taking your hit and verbalizing it, physicalizing it, uh, whatever you need to do to let the person who attacked you know that you are taking the hit. It's just as important to know that your attack was unsuccessful, as we talked about in part one, because like uh, the fire attacks that we talked about on the demons, that to know that that no effect call comes up is a positive reinforcement of a successful uh, strike. Successfully unsuccessful. Successfully unsuccessful. Yeah, and it's all part of LARPing out loud. Absolutely. I don't need to know um, whether you took one of my ten or... 15 of my 10 because you have some other bad things on you. To me, it doesn't matter. All that matters is, was my skill taken and did you take the hit? Right. And then it's up to you to, to keep track of that, of your vitality, your stamina, whatever it is. I'm maimed, I'm rooted, whatever it is. And that's up to you to then role play that. It's not up to the person that hit you. Jeremiah's got, so, Jeremiah's got another follow-up question, but I wanted to point out that if you're new and you're taking in these rules, um, the question that we gave for the Costain and this next question that Jason's about to address are specific skills, and we've covered the general overview. So Yes, yes that is, that's a good point. That's something we should mention in pretty much every video, is that 
when we switch gears from this is the general overview to these are the specific other ways that you might encounter this rule. Yeah. Yes. And it's also important to note that the Britannus Accelerant Core rules are considered the base rules, and many times... Our rule set is what's referred to as an exception-based design, meaning you have a core set of rules under which everything operates, and pretty much everything specific rules-wise are building tiny little exceptions to the way that those work, um, or, or uh, additions to the way that the core rules work. So conditions, under not exceptions. Conditions, yes. Um, so what we're talking about now, and addressing Jeremiah's question, second question, um, is a specific skill description that he has thankfully and kindly posted in the video description. So um, the skill that he's discussing is called Virtuous Strike, and uh, what it allows you to do is you make a melee attack for two damage by, fa by faith. So I hit a bad guy. Sorry. So I hit a bad guy. Boom. For two damage by faith. When that attack lands, I then gain the ability to call reduce to three damage against the next melee or missile attack of four damage or greater that hits me. Basically, I make an attack and it allows me to reduce a later attack. I feel so good about it. Right. Raw, I'm pumped. <laughs> but as you... As you purchase up that ability and improve it through skill purchases, it allows you to completely remove the reduce and instead turn it into a shield, which we discussed in part one. Shield um, being a completely negates the attack. So inst it says, instead of reduce, you call shield by faith against the next melee or missile attack that hits you. Jeremiah's specific question is, so it upgrades to essentially a shield against a double, triple attack and not just a reduce to a single strike. You're very, very close. The shield actually applies to any attack that hits you because it, the, the per fourth purchase ability removes the reduce entirely and turns it instead into a shield instead of a reduce and then shield. So the fourth purchase ability, instead of I hit and then I call a reduce, it's I hit and then I come call shield completely, and that next attack never hits me at all. So even it doesn't, if it's a double or a triple. Even if it's a double or a triple, because it's a defense against mm -hmm. a delivery method. Yep. And not against um, anything else. Which we have talked about at length, which means that essentially the entire double or the entire triple doesn't because it never hit you doesn't take effect. Right. Yep. And in, we we talked about that in a little more detail in part one as well. We did. Yeah. And we did decide that it is courteous to say. Um, in this case, it would be uh, shield attack um, or shield melee so that your target knows that the attack itself was blocked. Mm -hmm. So I think we're good. Do we have any more questions? We don't have any more. So let's, uh, let's last call, last call for questions. I'll sing about it. <laughs> okay. So do you have it? All right. Yep. So do you guys have any, you, any questions or comments on what we're talking about? So if you find yourself in a loop, like we described, just to say that again, um, oh, I think we need to just focus in, Mike. Oh, no, no, I got a full you shot got, you where you can read shot. all of the okay. text. <laughs> um, Emily. The, <laughs> inside inside jokes. jokes. Sorry. Um, Jason, no. If you, uh, if you get yourself in that loop, you just go until... Until somebody drops. Yeah. And, until somebody's out of vitality points, mm -hmm. because it'll happen eventually. It will. Well, no, depends on who depends on who's behind you healing you. Yeah, but, that's um, right. It eventually somebody's going to run out of juice, and it's not going to be because of the attacks. Because the way those two skills are written, every time you take a called attack, you get another called attack in return. So if you've got two of those same abilities facing off against each other, I make a called attack on you, and then I get a called attack, and then I make a called attack on you. Hopefully, you have a buddy and then I get who's a also attack. hitting them from the I'm side. Just stand behind her and heal her. Yeah, that's, that's what happened the second time. Yes. <laughs> I, I was actually fighting, just for fun visualization, I was fighting against Coleman as a Fomorian. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so, yeah. There was lots of roaring going on. All right. I don't see any more questions, so thank you for joining. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Saturday. Now we plan your doom. Stay tuned for logistics. Carol, I know. Doom. Lots of doom. Doom. Lots of doom. Fun. Now we play for your fun. <laughs> <laughs>